Hey, what's happening, spectacular spider friends? Welcome back to Marvel's Spider-Man here on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Make sure you guys uh, smash that like button and hit that bell to be notified when awesome Spidey videos, well, they used to arrive. This is the last, probably, Aww. because we are looking at the future Foundation Spider-Man, a member of the Fantastic Four after what? the demise of Johnny Storm. Oh, Yep. No. So this uh, Spider-Man appeared in 2010. Uh, the first issue of the Future Foundation, which Whoa. was Johnny Storm's last will and testimony. So, but as I recall, I may be wrong, but Johnny Storm died in the negative zone, saving all the superheroes and his family uh, from an alien invasion or alien horde. Whoa. And uh, later, I believe like through some type of, I don't know how he contacted Spidey, but he got Spidey to join the Fantastic Four. So Spidey could kind of be that emotional, wacky anchor for his sister and his brother-in-law and Benjamin Grimm, the thing. Oh, so he's like the young chipper dude. <laughs> kind is, of. Like, I mean, who likes to quip a lot. They've got the similar personality, I guess. Spidey didn't really stick Fun around. Guy. Ha! Spidey didn't stick around all that uh, long. Stick around. I know. Thanks. Thanks for that. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Right? He, he was just swinging. He was, he was swinging by. But you know what? I'll let, I'll leave the puns to you, Caitlin. And uh, just a little edit uh, before we get into more of Future Foundation. I made a slight hiccup uh, in yesterday's video. The team that I was trying to talk about was the X-Men, not the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four appeared in 1961, a full two years before the Doom Patrol, and they were nothing like the Doom Patrol. The Doom Patrol had more members than the Fantastic Four. What the Doom Patrol released before was the X-Men, oh. but my original statement was correct because the X-Men outshined the Doom Patrol, who were boring, kind of freakish horror creatures, while the <laughs> X-Men were teenagers with attitude yeah. that uh, had like a mutation, like something was wrong with their body that was giving them these fantastic gifts. And Stan Lee, he did a better job at explaining, like, the backstory and the passion of the characters, and they had some really unique and fun stories, whereas the Doom Patrol was kind of like you were taking antidepressants. It just... I don't know. <laughs> it's That's the best way to explain the Doom Patrol. They weren't really interesting until Beast Boy came around, or Chain, Changeling in the 70s, early 80s. So, yeah. I was oh. talking about the X-Men, but I am not a uh, fountain of Marvel knowledge. I do make mistakes. <gasps> Gasp. I am a bat expert, Wait, and you're that a is, human. A human. A human. I'm, a, I'm not a mutant. But yeah, yeah. Uh, one cool thing about the suit that I can't forget to mention because people will probably come after me: the Future Foundation suit is made of like all these nanites and has the technology to take the appearance of whatever suit Spider-Man wants to have. What? Yes. So it's all the suits, or I mean, it's not all of them, but it, it, can, it can be look like all of them. The reason why they are wearing white and black, it has to do with the formation of a new foundation in, I believe, Johnny Storm's name. So it's kind of like a, a living memorial like uniform that the Fantastic Four adopts. Oh, uh, wow. Even though their costume was always, you know, blue and yeah. white or blue. Yeah, blue and blue, blue white or blue and black. They kind of uh, did it to... Um, you know, honor their fallen brother in arms, the Human Torch, who ends up coming back to life uh, several years later that nobody really cared about. Oh wow! Yeah, that's interesting. Yep. Well, maybe maybe he sent him a letter before he passed. I think away. it was a hologram. Like, hey Pete, oh. uh, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm dead. So uh, I need you to do me a solid, which yeah. I know you'll do because you and me are tight like that. We're so tight. <laughs> Um, Tight. Yeah, so he joins the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Their relationship is so lit. Literally, because he was on fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, this future foundation suit looks very futury. The future foundation suit also has appeared in a lot of Spider-Man things. It looks really cool. I am like, whoa, this looks like some kind of like rich billionaire suit that they use to skydive or D something. Didn't you just hear that it like this is a special suit that's comprised of like all kinds of cool technology? Yeah. Because it was designed by Reed Richards. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. you were saying that, yeah. And before, the only time I remember Reed Richards designing a Spider-Man suit, you guys probably don't remember this, but there was a cartoon called, ow, stupid suit, Spider-Man Unlimited. Cartoon. 
where Reed Richards made this uh, new costume where Spider-Man could survive in the vacuum of space. Oh. And it was comprised of nanites that made this really weird costume that had a cape. Nanites. Yeah, so when people say Spider-Man didn't have a cape, just point oh. to them to Spider-Man oh. Unlimited. Spider-Man Unlimited. Even though that was just like a, a cartoon. Drops mic. Drops yeah. mic. Well, Spider-Man Unlimited was a weird <laughs> show where he fought anamorph people. It was just strange. Oh. Now, this is actually really weird for me to be using the Future Foundation suit because this has appeared in a lot of Spider-Man video games the past decade. Uh, it is a staple costume to have in your video games after 2010. Like, it's just always in it. It was in all the amazing oh, okay. Spider-Man games. It was in, I believe, Shattered Dimensions, uh, Edge of Time. So, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's there. It's just such a cool and different looking suit. I feel like they have to include it because yeah. it's like... And I like that they included it as part of like the Fantastic Four collection or whatever of suits because it does make sense. Well, technically, mm -hmm. Peter wasn't really a part of the Fantastic Four since they renamed it to Future Foundation, and they had more than four members. Even Doctor Doom was a member of the Future Foundation at one point. Oh, wow. I know. Talk about weird, which uh, Reed Richards never was cool with. He was kind of like, what? Why are you? Uh, yeah. Why? Why is this that's a thing? Weird. So they opened it up for more people. That's that's kind of lame. Then Spider-Man never really got to be part of the Fantastic Four. Well, just as four people okay here it's kind of interesting though uh, spidey only joins the fantastic four at the death of a member of the fantastic four in new york mm. city in a what if story that i have uh from the 90s i believe it was peter parker ends up joining the fantastic four after the death of the fantastic four along with wolverine uh ghost rider and the Hulk. Whoa. And they formed the new Fantastic Four. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it That's was really a cool. pretty edgy thing. Although, I believe... I know why they fail. So, they're doing great in this uh, What If issue, right? The Fantastic Four are all dead. Yeah. Nobody knows what happened to them. They're gone. Yeah. Um, and they're doing great. Like, they beat up the Sinister Six, Spider-Man's foes. They beat up a lot of Wolverine's foes, like mm -hmm. Sabretooth and stuff like that. I love it when you like say, that. like, Sinister Six because it's so hard to say. Sinister Six is hard to say. Uh, yeah. It's a tongue twister. Yeah, yeah. So they beat up all these other people. Right. They, they beat up all these Dormammu and, like, you know, people that Ghost Rider deals with and Dorm the Hulk, Man. like, uh, Abomination and stuff like that. But, you know... And Mary Jane is kind of, like, living in the Fantastic Four's house, like, with everybody, and she wears Sue Richards' uh, uniform for reasons. And Doctor Doom comes a-calling in the issue, and he's like, all right, I'm going to see what these pretenders can do. And he rocks all of them. So after their uh, basic destruction, not really, they didn't die. Like, Doom just kind of, like, pwned them, and he was depressed because he, too, was mourning because... You know, he hated the Fantastic Four, but it was kind of like a love-hate relationship. So with them gone, Aww. there was kind of like this vacuum. Think like Joker with no Batman. He's yeah. just, crime has no punchline. So he whoops Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Hulk, and uh, Ghost Rider in this What If series. And at the end, uh, the heroes disband because they're like, there'll never be another Fantastic Four. Um, because, you know, those people are just too fantastic. And they all go their separate ways. But it was nice that they tried to do it in their honor. Yeah. And, you know, they couldn't really... I guess it proved that there could never be another Fantastic Four well, because they dealt with the Scroll invasion. They dealt with, you know, Kree and Doctor but, Doom. I mean, the Fantastic Four were like a team of people that work together so well because... Because they're a super-powered family. Yeah, Fantastic because, they're like, because they're like a family because <laughs> it's a husband and wife and Not then many a people get family reference. friend. And then... Wait, who's Johnny Storm? Is he... Or, He's Sue Richard's brother. Oh, see, they're all related and then the one guy is a family friend, right? Yep. So they are a real family. So they're like... Just like the way you and I work way better together than if you were, like, doing collabs with other people all the time. Like, that's how we are, like, the Fantastic Two. <laughs> because... Dynamic duo. It's like, because you can't really... You couldn't really replace, like... If, if we got blowed up or something, like, nobody... You can't that's really, dark. You can't really replace us. 
Mm. Because like you wouldn't even if you got clones of us, they wouldn't really work together very well because they wouldn't <laughs> clones of us. <laughs> or what if you got people that were very similar to us, they wouldn't work together in the same way because they wouldn't be married. So mm, yeah, that's it wouldn't true. be the same. That's why a new Fantastic Four wouldn't work because Hulk and you know like uh, that one guy. What's that guy's name? Johnny. Bl- uh, what is the, what is it? Ghost Rider and other Johnny people. Johnny Blaze. You were yeah, all, you Johnny Blaze correct. and Hulk and those people, they're not related. So even though they have some of the same powers, they're not going to work together the same way the Fantastic Four is because they're not Oh, I forgot to mention the person. Related. You're going to love this. The person who had the brains uh, for the Fantastic like Four, like part two. The Iron Man. Bruce Banner. See, oh. in the comic books in the, in the 90s, what happened was Hulk became super intelligent because he had the mind of Bruce Banner. This Hulk was referred to as Grey Hulk. Oh my gosh. Right. So you had the powerhouse uh, and the brains was oh Bruce my Banner. Oh gosh, that's so weird. It was cool. Yeah, but then what does that leave for everybody else? Uh, he takes up two of the spots. I guess Johnny... I, I, Johnny Blaze was just kind of a weird All addition. Right. Yeah, he, he was. Wolverine. Ghost Rider is the fire dude. Yeah. And then you have to have... The Wisecracker the... was Spidey. Okay, then you have the Wisecracker, fire dudes, and then Hulk, and then who's the last person? Wolverine? Oh, Wolver- Wait, Wolverine, somebody. Spidey, Ghost know. Rider, yeah, Grey Wolverine. Hulk. So Wolverine is the... Is Mrs. Fantastic. Oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, it didn't have the female element. What they should have done... No, they couldn't have done it because they needed a big brain person. I was going to say She-Hulk, but She-Hulk's not a genius. I'm going to say Wolverine is the... The the muscle, the the, the monster, dude. But that would also be Hulk. See, they weren't really yeah. thinking... It's, it's a what-if story. They were just yeah. saying, you know, it could, a, could it be done? It's interesting, though. Yeah. So, yeah. But Future Foundation, I didn't really read. I thought it was cool when I saw this costume for the first time in 2010 in one of the Spider-Man games we looked at a long time ago. Yeah. And uh, I did a little bit of a lore on it uh, when it came out in Spider-Man Unlimited, which we... The mobile game, sadly, is ending... Uh, in a couple months, I believe. Yeah. So that lasted from 2014 all the way until 2019. That's a heck of a run well, for a, a run. mobile running game. And wow. the, the biggest Spider-Man video game for costumes, even though this one tops off at 40 costumes now, yeah. which I have no idea what they're going to do for Spider-Man 2. I mean, they spoiled people. Arkham Knight was the finale of the, the series, and it only had about 28 or 30 costumes. This has 40 costumes. You know, they, they were just like, you know what? Uh, well, we, we need more Spidey costumes. That's pretty cray-cray. Yep. And they did borrow from some Elseworld stuff, and there's even more Elseworld Spidey stuff, but I would say all the cream of the crop is in this game. The only thing you're missing that people want is the Venom suit. It's the only thing people want. Oh, That I yeah. hear all the time. We need the Venom suit. Need the symbiote. And it's like, oh, you'll get it, because the next game is going to be about... Venom and the symbiotes and you know probably Green Goblin if they rush yeah. things but I'm looking forward to it oh man yeah definitely but you can see just how beautiful this suit is it's a really great suit come yeah, on stick to the is. wall stick there we go look at that look at that yay and he can make it look like the Fantastic Four costume if he wants but you know he likes uh, honoring yeah. his his best friend Aww, I know it was I, I heard about Johnny Storm's death and I was kind of like no my that favorite is, member of the Fantastic Four even though I don't read their books why an amazing way to go out though oh like, saving everybody yeah yeah very heroic that's what a hero's supposed to do there is no greater love than the man that lays down his life for his friends that's true that's true oh my gosh yeah this, this suit looks amazing this is a good Finale. So, Luke, are we gonna be? Are they gonna be adding other suits? This is it. This is the last suit. I believe this until is it. Marvel Spider-Man Two, which is gonna be coming out 2021, probably. Yeah, probably. That's what I would say. Because I mean, it took them a long time to make this game. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do an update of my uh, Spider-Man Top Ten suits because I didn't know Future Foundation was coming. I love Future yeah, Foundation. Yeah, you might have to do an update. I might have to do an updated Top Ten. Yeah, I mean, the black and white is really hard for me to... So I don't understand, like, they... A lot of them changed their suits to this, or he just changed his suit to that for his friend. 
Everybody in the Future Foundation had a suit like this. Oh, okay. All right, I gotcha. It was kind of like wearing Superman's armband when he died. This is, oh, you know. Oh, okay. All right. They retired the Fantastic Four costumes, and they all wore this. Everybody, the Fantastic Four, they all had matching uniforms because the Fantastic Four died with Johnny Storm. They became the Future Foundation. Oh. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this uh, Spidey Showcase. If you want to see an updated Top 10 video, uh, let me know. And uh, tell me your favorite Spider-Man suit, and uh, make sure you download this free update. Keep an eye out for the next Kingdom Hearts episode, and we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching K-Wing's Let's Plays. We've got a lot of games to cover in February, so apologies in advance for subbox spam. But until we meet again, webheads, God bless and happy gaming, Excelsior! See ya! <laughs>